Hey everybody, we're going to be starting a little bit of a new series for the next month here. What I want to do is cover a bunch of topics which if you're new to Logic or new to music production, that maybe it's something that we don't talk about as much because we take it for granted as someone who's more experienced, but these are things which you should be aware of and which will really enhance some of your music making process. So today I want to talk about the velocity ranges inside your sampled instruments. These are perhaps some of the older instruments we have in Logic, although a lot of the newer ones have similar things. But for instance, we have a number of instruments which have all of this additional functionality built into the velocity. So I'm gonna play just a little excerpt of this song. So that dobro part, it has, when it goes up to the higher notes, it has a little bit different inflection there, something which could have been performed by a real performer had they had the instrument in their hands. Well, most of the time when we're playing an instrument like that with a keyboard, we have some of the essence of a real performance, but we can't do the bends and things, and so some of those are built into velocity. So if you hit the key just into the hardest range, it does something a little different than the one right below it. So let me show you this. I'm gonna come in here to our EXS24, the edit mode. The, these are all the notes. You can see down at the bottom here, those are there. So here's that C. That's the, it's pretty decently pressed right there, but if I push it even faster, it switches up to that very top sample. And so you can actually perform it and get a little bit of different stuff out of there. Now, if you look over here in our zones, you're going to see some of the names of these. We have the key release noises, the sustain forte, the sustain mezzo forte, the taps, the knocks, the slide, uh, the slides, the rolls. So all of these are doing different things. And some of them are actually down here in the lower range. So if you wanted to actually see all of the things that your instrument has, this is where you could come in to look and see exactly what's happening with it. It's a great way to learn more about your instrument. Even some of the oldest instruments we have in here, the sampled ones, might have some of these additional features. So for instance, something as simple as like the tuba or trombone or trumpet. Let's actually come in here and look at that for one second. Brass. So tuba, you can see here that we do have some slightly different sounds. We have a legato and a staccato, and we have two different staccatos. But we do, we can come and look at our actual groups. And let's come through and turn on select group by, and you're gonna see right now they're selected by the articulation function inside of Logic. Okay, so just be aware that there's a lot more potential with some of these sounds which you may not have even thought of, and it's just gonna be either velocity or some other trigger away from that. Liverpool bass. The hardest ones do that little fall on it, and, and so it's just built into a lot of these instruments. Okay, that's it for today. We're gonna, like I said, be doing a number of these more like return to some of the basics and some of the things which for some people it may seem really obvious because they've been using a lot of these tools for so many years. But if you're brand new to this, these are some of the things that aren't so obvious and really could be hidden, but will help make your music even greater. And so you just want to be aware of those things.